I'll let him through. Now, just get in there, but be quick. Mr. Net is busy. Warning you. Uh-huh. Hello? Who are you? <laughs> Uncle Bit, glad to meet you. Net's over there. Um, oh look, a TV. We bring you a breaking news item, Professor Crane, the Red Rescue Rescue just returned. Mm hmm. Hello. Hello, I've been expecting you. You're Tibble, right? I'm Ned. And this is Bit. Net Bit, they call us. He's my friend and an invaluable partner. Don't tell Sec. He's not really a partner, he's just sort of. He just does the, the books and stuff. He's basically an accountant. Pleased to meet you. We heard from Professor Crane. Sounds like you pulled off a daring rescue. Yes, Bit. Now shut up. I'm talking. Let's see the data. There's the, the ROM. I've deciphered something similar to this before. It brings back memories. Okay, I think it's going to take some time for me to check the contents. Can you, uh, can you just read in the corner? How's this for an idea? Shut up. Our news team shall be out visiting Duking at one of his Pokespots to file a story about a wild Pokemon. Since he's got free time, why not have him go visit Duking as well? Oh yeah, that old man needs a lot of friends. Yeah, uh, good suggestion. Are you interested in a wild Pokemon? What's a wild Pokemon? Wouldn't hurt to go look, you know. Well, they might bite me if they're wild. No, they're not that wild. Oh yeah, um, may I have your phone number for my collection? Uh, for uh, so I can let you know when I find anything out. Yeah, here you go. Thank you. I'll try to decipher this as quickly as possible. By the way, Bit, um, where is our news team? Ah, uh, the rock poggy spot. Boom. Really, really, really far away. As you've got a few five minutes, why don't you just go do that now? Okay, Tibalt, uh, go out to the poggy spot and wait for me to call. Wait and then come when I call. This is what I demand of everybody. Who knows, you may even see some wild Pokemon. Who knows, you may even get bitten. One can hope. You were too long. Shut up. Ooh. Oh, it's Tithead. Hey, don't you think it's too tough for us to pull anything in this town? Our faces are too well known. Yeah, I hear ya. If we don't hurry, the boss will get impatient and come looking for us himself. Nah, we're okay on that score. I went and snuck a transmitter on the boss. You can tell where he is by checking his radar. So we can always be ready for him when he blows his top. I'll have to hand it to you, Folly. Way to go. Huh? Tradley, looks like we got email. Go, yeah, is it the boss? Mm, let's see, you two come back right now, it says. Oh, gosh darn it all. It sounds like he's fuming. Might knock us. He might dock us dinner again. We better scoot back. Shh. Well, so much for this radar. It's not much if he's gonna pay just by email. Pay just by email? What? Ah, oh, man, why do our lives have to be this tragic? I have no idea which is which. Hello. Once was a town ruled by Cypher that existed beneath this cliff here. The town was called The Under. When Cypher was made a blunder. Everyone came into the sunlight. Limericks are not your forte, are they? No! Hello? My name's Rocket. I'm warming up. Could you just get out of my way? No. Mmm. I like standing here. Oh. <laughs> Such a dick. Oh, great ball. Nice. And into the Colosseum itself. I've been in here a couple of times to heal, but... Hello. When Cypher ruled Pyrite, the admin in charge was called Mirror B, I think the name was. It's laughably silly, but he was supposed to be a tough battler. Would have liked to take him on. Oh wow, you can rotate it like that. Yes, someone said in the comments that the way you get a normal Pokemon to connect is you connect it to another normal Pokemon, and then that gives it the flow. No, oh, Shroomish is almost there anyway. Alright, I might as well stick Carvana in there then. Um, and I will rotate to look at that one. Place. Come on! 
That should be perfect, shouldn't it? Because water against ground and dark against psyche, it's, it's perfect. How does that not work, hmm? How is that not max flow? You're disappointing me, game. Hello? Hello, this is the Pirate Coliseum. Would you like to enter? Yeah. Awesome. I, I, uh, that's radical. I, it's uh, tops. I can't think of other... It's uh, groovy, that's one. I have no idea what the level is going to be like here. Hopefully, it's not going to be way out of my range. I'm the first in line, I'll leave you tingling with shark. Uh, level 20, easy. Okay, I'll just uh, blitz through these then. First battle done. Not really much challenge, but I'm just going through these. Oh, you! I'm just going through these for a little bit of experience, but also to get the TMs you get. Phone, 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 check them out, my Pokemon for my golden trio. Ah, okay, he's probably got Cyndaquil, Totodile, and um, Pikachu. Level up. Level 24. My golden trio. Haha, I did a flip, but it was off camera. You're aiming to beat me? That's not about to happen. I really thought you were saying that's about to happen, because it is. And another level up, Crescent to 24, nice. And then fell asleep, whatever. Easy win. Grr, you beat me. The thing I said would not happen did happen. Holy crap, Crescent's evolving. While asleep. Boom, Houndoom. Yeah, very nice. Never used a Houndoom before, well, apart from like, I'm sure I've used it before in like um, stuff like the, what's it called? Battle Frontier where they give you random Pokemon, stuff like that. I'm sure I've used Houndoom, but I've never used Houndoom as part of a core team in a game before. You'll win the title if you can beat me, bring it on. I'm Duplex. Isn't that a name? No. You're thinking of suplex. Oh, it looks really impressive to have Crescent now. He's huge. Look at that. A plusle and a minin, and they look equally happy to be beaten up by me. Victory. Well, you're good. You won the title. Yep, I'm the winner. Congratulations for winning your challenge. What a marvellous run of battles. Here is your prize money. And we also give you this TM31. TM31, which is Brick Break. I don't think I'm I'm using that at all. Right, question is, do I run through it again now or not? I think I'm going to wait until I've got my whole party. I don't know how long that will be, but... It seems silly to spend ages training just these three. So I will come back here later and I imagine I'll just blitz through the Colosseum when I do come back, but off to the pokey spot. Oh, Kavana's ready. Yay. Purify Chamber is a lot quicker than bloody carrying them. Pokey spot is all the way over here. Rock pokey spot, a rough and rocky pokey spot where wild Pokemon appear. Hello, people. It's time for Pofty's fast break report. We bring you news while it's breaking. We're not going to help with the breaking. We're just going to watch and laugh and profit. Today we're visiting Juking, the discoverer of pokey spots where wild Pokemon appear. He looks ridiculous. Juking is said to be the driving force between the booming popularity of wild Pokemon in Pyrite. Juking, so is this the Poke Spot that you discovered? Hello, Juking here. Yes, that is absolutely correct. For 15 long and torturous years I toiled, snatching sleep only grudgingly to find this Poke Spot. 15 years, is that true? Is that why you have no fashion sense? 
I heard that. But I just said quite loudly. Uh, uh, yes, one shouldn't let details get in the way of the story. Isn't that right, Betty? Uh, my name is Felicity. Or Pofty, whatever. Alright, let me explain how one goes about attracting wild Pokémon to a Poké spot. Well, seeing as you're here, wouldn't it be better if I got someone to demonstrate? You, random child, you are perfect, even though I have no idea who you are, why you're here, uh, whether you have any knowledge about Pokémon, you might be allergic to Pokémon for I know. Come over here, mate. Oh, wonderful. Hello. Psst, Puffy, trouble, big trouble, you make up for running from your sweat. Don't point out when a lady is sweating, it's just impolite. Hello. Oh, you should consider yourself lucky, Duke King himself will show you how in person. There's a plate in the desert, hello. Oh wait, mate, not over here, I need you over this way, between me and Betty. It's Puffy. Uh, here? No. Puffy. Here. Are you slow? Really offensive. Here? Alright, my friend, let me show you how to attract wild Pokemon to a Poké spot. First and above all else you need these, Duking brand Poké snacks. I'll give you some. Free sample. Only free sample allowed. Yay. Alright, my friend, lay these Poké snacks out on that plate there. Go on. Do it. Now. Very good, mate. Is saying mate uh, allowing me to speak to you on your level? Th that is a thing that my publicist said, that I should try to be more accessible and less giant and Russian. I did not understand what she meant. That's how you do it. When you've laid out the Pokey Snacks, the Duking brand Pokey Snacks, leave the area. Eventually a wild Pokemon will come along, just you wait. The more Poké snacks you lay out, the longer a Pokémon will stay to eat. It is also important, my specially made Juking Brain Spot Monitor. This, I'm sure you'll agree, is something truly awesome. My goodness, you developed this device yourself? Quiet now. Um, one should not let details get in the way, is that not right? Um, milady. It's puff day. By the way, Duking, can you tell us what a spot monitor is? I'm glad that you asked me that question that I clearly set you up to ask me. My Duking brand spot monitor is a dandy. It lets you know what is happening at any Duking brand pokey spot wherever you are. Here, my friend, as thanks for hearing me out patiently and only fucking up mildly, I will give, make a gift of this too. Slot it into your PDA. That is all you need to do to make it work. Simples. Boom. Yay. Alright, now you're set. Now when a wild Pokemon appear at any Juking brand Poké spot, your Juking brand spot monitor will respond and alert you. I've found three Juking brand Poké sp You don't have to say that every time. Yes, I do, for branding. There is one to the west. Right here. Use these Juking brand Poké spots and catch yourself some wild Juking brand Pokémon. No, you can't brand Pokémon. Tell that to Nintendo. What? Give it a try, mate. Anything to say? Oh, you're so lucky to get a private lesson from Duking himself, I mean. Oh, it makes me a little envious. Oh, goodness, is the camera still rolling? Pofty's fast break reporting. Our guest today was Duking and some random kid. See you next time. After the laying... Oh, yeah. It wouldn't hurt to check other Juking brand Poké spots. A wild Juking brand Pokémon will appear sometime. 
when one does show up your juking brand spot monitor will alert you then all you have to do is get back to the right juking brand pokey spot oh yes you can also oh my god check how many juking brand pokey snacks are left on the juking brand spot monitor learn to use it bitch i mean friend mate chum a uh, tiny little puny pal I think he used to be more friendly than this. Did he used to be French? He may have used to be in French. I just saw him as Russian this time. Yeah, now you can catch wild Pokemon right here in Aura. When I'm on holidays, I should go exploring too. Seems unrelated. Bye bye. I only left one snack. Oh wow. Huh. A rough and rocky Pokespot. Oasis, a lush oasis like Pokespot where wild Pokemon appear. I'm not going to say the Duking brand when it's not him talking. I'm not going to acknowledge it. Oh, well, this looks very nice, very lush. Oh, he's followed me. I wanted to talk to you privately. You showed me up on the camera. Now I brought you here to drown you. <laughs> oh, it's you. You're that lad who helped us out on that new show. Thanks much, mate. I'm surprised you came out to a place like this. Normally, they're not they're not dumb enough to fall for my obvious trap. It must mean you're seriously in, seriously interested in wild juking brand of Pokemon. That is marvelous. It makes it all worthwhile my teaching you, tiny puny child. So you find upstanding tiny puny child, upstanding lad, lover of wild juking brand Pokemon. I have some information that you will find to be very, very, very special. But my friend, I must charge you. Uh, that is fair deal, right? No? No. Don't be dick. I need your help. And your money. I've got some special information for you. No. I said don't be dick. Fine. Yeah, thank you kindly. You see, there are several poor Pokemon that hardly ever show at the Poke Spots. Uh, so, my mistake, Duking brand Poke Spots. Trapinch, Sir Skit, and Whooper. I'm having a rotten time of it trying to catch those three. If you were to catch them, I would glad you gladly trade you some of my Pokemon, mate. I'm counting on you, mate. I've got to be on my way now. I have Mafia to organize. Wait. Whoops, mustn't forget to sign this NDA. I promise to give you some special information. If you go off to the northeast, there's a pokey spot that's hard to find since it is inside a cave. That's my favorite pokey spot. You've got to go see it. Go after Duck. Make sure no one follows you. Make sure no one knows where you are. Well, I guess I should be going on my way. Real pleasure to chatting with you again, mate. And remember, no one will find you. But uh, I'll be heading back to Pyrite. Come visit whenever you like. Let's meet again, mate. Adios. Keeps going a little bit Italian. Which is quite weird. Not intended. Okay, okay. I like how like the, the wedge fills up. Um, I assume it's going to bleep me. A dark and damp pokey spot where wild Pokemon appear. I have run out of Juking Brand pokey snacks. Oh. Hello. Tidhead. What do you figure the boss is going to do now? I'm tired of this life, man. We need to put down roots somewhere. I uh, don't whine so much. You know what the boss always says. He'll get Team Mirror B together one day and we'll learn all the Pokemon in the world. That's just a bedtime story, you're an idiot. Do you really think he could pull that off? I feel like I've walked in on something. Um, excuse me, are you going to be using this Poke Spot? Whoa, but Oh, it's just some kid. Don't sneak up on me. Huh? Don't be so jumpy, I got my radar, we'll know if the boss is coming around. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Shut up. I think the boss is coming around. It's the boss, Mirabee! 
Oh no! Ho 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 ho! Hey my posse, have you rounded up Pokemon like I wanted? Hmm, stop the music! I said stop the music, not switch the music. <laughs> Oh, 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 I sense the please instead of Pokemon. Oh, yes, I do. Maybe you're just a little hood. Uh, maybe you're also one fine trainer with the goods. How about you get it on? Join my posse. Be one of us and you'll soon be owning all the Pokemon around the world. I'm intrigued by your hair. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I hear your mouth say, but your heart's not in it. I can't abide that. It's a big decision time, you need to think hard before you choose a life of crime. So tell me, will you join my posse? Yes. Oh, still not feeling it. Give it some real oomph. Will you join my posse? Nope, the, uh, the allure of the hair's gone. Fo ho ho, I thought you'd say that. Everyone always does about my hair eventually. You always had this smell to me, you see. That you will be our enemy. How I deal with a threat is to nip it while it's a bud yet. Fo ho 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 ho. I'll be showing you my power now. Try not to be blown away by a sense of wow. Let the music play.